See that shroud covering me on? Believe it or not, you're looking at the only city in the settled systems that powers itself from lightning. Looks like some sort of checkpoint ahead. It's probably designed to suck the credits directly from your pocket. second you step through. All right, get up slowly and turn around. Try to run and we open fire. Want to challenge your instinct? Interesting. This district certainly provides evidence. care who you work for you can't just oh you're the rookie aren't you the one and only well the marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship truth is a lot of stolen goods flow through here but this city is real good at keeping its secrets even from us You can count on my help if you play by the rules. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace, and make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. Law enforcement isn't exactly welcome in Neon, but that shouldn't deter you from your duty. I pick my battles, and I pick them carefully. Our first duty is to protect the people of the Free Star Collective. But sometimes you have to choose which people to protect, because not everyone is innocent. Ah, uh, rookies. I'm proud of you. Without duty and honor, you'd have nothing left. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cause credits, nothing in Neon is free. Believe it or not, yeah, it was. My mother's an executive with Ryujin, so I grew up here. I volunteered for this post as much to keep the other rangers out of trouble as any other reason. If some hotshot rookie took this job and started flashing the badge everywhere, it wouldn't end well. Nah, I've got friends in high places, so to speak. I'm the son of a Ryujin Industries executive Maybe you've heard of her? Name's Alexis Price. There's a sort of fragile peace here in Neon. It's better for everyone if the syndicates and the corporations coexist with minimum friction. Stay out of people's business until you can. not Be willing to let the small stuff slide. Don't break up a fight unless it's getting out of hand. Most of all, don't assume that badge will protect you. Of course, 
Neon's full of desperate people who have nowhere else to turn. For some, it's a drugs. For others, it's gambling. There are a lot of ways to lose everything in this city. My rule is simple. If someone brought it on themselves, then I don't get involved. Rangers are supposed to exercise good judgment. I'm one person here. I can't help everybody. The best I can do is try to protect the ones who are innocent. And believe me, it's a full-time job. This is Neon. There are no guarantees, and who I find trustworthy changes on a daily basis. Talk to him or don't, it's your call. Come on. There's something I need to talk to you about. I have an important personal decision to make, but I need to discuss something with you first. Phew, thank you. So, where to start? Um, before I was with the Navigator Corps, I was career military, part of the United Colonies Navy. When the Colony War broke out, I was posted as the Chief Navigator on a warship, the Dauntless. Well, the position didn't last long. There was a particularly bloody battle. We were fighting over a world in the Aeta Cassiopeia system. Worst fighting I'd ever seen. We lost 12 ships that day. 12, including my own. Economic reasons. Several of the worlds in the Cassiopeia system were mineral rich. Both sides wanted to drop refinery outposts on the surface to bolster their supply. I'm well aware how many lives were lost. Now let me finish. The ship was barely intact. The captain and first mate died the previous day, which put me in command. A shrewd captain would have called for the crew to abandon ship. But I was so angry. I wanted to stay. I needed to fight. I believe you. But you haven't heard the worst of this. We fought for hours, but the damage was fatal. I gave the order to abandon ship and the crew piled into the escape shuttle. As the shuttle launched, I could see it was damaged. I... I heard screams before the radio cut. The last thing I saw, they were... spiraling helplessly towards the planet's surface. There was... There was nothing I could do. The ship barely had enough power for comms and life support. All I could do was... was watch them die. It was my duty as acting captain to be the last person to leave the Dauntless. We had more than one escape shuttle available. So... I elected to wait until they were safe. Thank you, but condolences can't reverse what I've done. I was caught up in the moment, an inexperienced captain making rash decisions that cost people their lives. My superiors, when the dust settled, the United Colonies gave me a medal. Can you believe that? A damn medal! I never even had a chance to find the shuttle wreckage and give my crew a proper burial. Bad luck. That sounds familiar. Remember when you said no one but me would have pushed harder to keep the Navigator core going? Well, this time... Pushing too hard cost lives. Don't you get it? Everything I do, everything I touch, 
somehow falls apart. That's why I'm worried about us. Look, it's clear the two of us are becoming more than partners. We're becoming close friends. Even though I've pushed people away in the past, I feel different when I'm around you. I feel safer, comfortable, not afraid to admit who I am. I'm terrified I'm going to screw that up. You still have faith in me. I don't even know what to say. I never realized how much you cared about me. You know, I've spent a lot of time thinking about us, about our relationship, how we've clearly become close. I practiced what I was going to say when the moment was right, and now that it's here, my mind's gone blank. <laughs> uh, look, you deserve the best. Someone who can give themselves to you entirely. But right now, I have too much baggage, too much on my mind. I hope you'll forgive me for pushing you away. I just need time. Pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. You learned quickly that a neon staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here, I need to impress that upon you. Because the fact that you think justice is absolute concerns me, Deputy. It's never that simple. Justice can mean different things to different people, and laws can be interpreted and debated. A ranger relies on judgment and intuition to do what's best for the people. Hey, Billy. Got a second? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you wanted good to me. Check. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? Stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. Know what I mean? I suppose we shouldn't be surprised that he's asking for something in return. Yeah, well, I'm one of them. I can help you. But right now, my life is in danger, and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Please, just hear me out, okay? I need to know I can count on you. Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. Oh, that's terrible. 
You shouldn't be responsible for your brother's deaths. Yeah? Well, tell that to Goodman, because he doesn't seem to care. He just wants his money. From where I'm standing, seems like our problems are intertwined like a couple of fuel lines in a thruster assembly. Hmm. Maybe. Need to think about it. I don't care how badly you need it. I'm not telling you. Come on, don't be that way. I mean, it might be okay. Okay, okay. Hard to try, right? The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. And she's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Well, what about me? You just gonna leave me twisting in the wind here? If I were you, I'd get the hell out of Neon and start over somewhere else. husband's murder. Murder. Yeah, right. Hysterical old broad. Star Ranger and his. What are you? A sidekick or something? Well, I'm sure your mom is real proud. So, how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the Ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. A time or two, maybe more, and yet here I am, walking free. Aw, oh, ain't you polite. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? All right. So I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men, and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? Look. They didn't tell me what they were gonna do. How was I supposed to know they were gonna go after some farmer? You should have asked when you took the contract. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. It, it's not that simple. Maybe I can make an exception. I don't care how badly you need it. I'm not telling you. I can see that. I guess if I can't trust a free star ranger, then I can't trust anyone, right? I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. 
She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. I haven't heard from her since. <laughs> you serious? Take your pick. Money, reputation, the thrill of it. All good reasons. Only some kind of offhanded comment about their client wanting to expand the operation ahead of schedule. In my line of work, you learn not to ask a lot of questions. It tends to make people uncomfortable. No, but it sounded serious. She was upset. Seemed kind of shaken, you know? Didn't seem right I should pry, so I didn't. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. Not so much as a hint. I'll tell you. He's as cagey a fixer as I've ever met. Bankroll in the first must take a lot of money. I'm sure he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. No. Nothing at all. <laughs> Left me feeling a little disappointed given how well they paid me. Yeah, sure. Next time you're at The Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone can crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. Oh. Uh... You're welcome. Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. Nothing like the velocity after a rock. Be careful out there. These mercenaries sound pretty serious. Free for 200 years, and this city is the best the Collector can come up with? hard work, but it sure beats looking involved in a shootout. when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Yeah, I bet. It just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. 
Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled systems by comparison. Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Did he now? Well, in that case, challenge accepted. It's only a matter of time before I know every dirty little secret stored in this thing. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. It'll take as long as it takes. You can't rush a job like this. Oh, one thing I can promise you, though, is that it'll go a lot faster if I don't have to answer silly questions. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. Let's talk for a minute. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. Good. Stay focused on the task at hand and don't take your eye off the target. That's how a ranger should think. What did you learn from this starship thief? Now we're getting somewhere. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. There was a mech driver in the 1st Cavalry named Marco Graziani. He came from money, and when the 1st Cav got a reputation as the top unit, he transferred in. Rumor was that bribes made it happen. Marco had a knack for getting hold of anything we needed. There was talk, the family fortune came from smuggling, and I believe it. He had this dream to become a wealthy businessman when he got out. But I guess that got put on hold when they locked him up. They said she was a child prodigy, which probably explains her arrogance. Even so, she was fiercely loyal to Major Hull. I don't think she'd ever give him up. If you find her, don't expect her to cooperate. Like what? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead has posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome, so be careful. Good hunting, deputy.
Captain on deck. Dock at the clinic. The best medical facility in the settled system. Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. I will be making it very clear to your superiors that lives are at stake, and the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs, someone else will. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. Thank you, Dr. Salvato. You may return to your duties. Whatever you do, don't let anyone in here sneeze on you. Well, I'm just here to keep the peace. You need medical help, I'm the last person you want to talk to. Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? You know, the Marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. And having some success, by the sound of it. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? Well, every ranger knows it's important to trust your instincts. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. Just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge around here. And she's also on the Council of Governors. Most of the staff don't seem fond of the idea of me being here, and I ain't 
longer than my back. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Now, hey there, Ari. Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> hey, Chief. A little more the former than the latter. What brings you by? Well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone who might be a patient. Need to make sure those what I can files do. are backed up. Well, I'll leave you in Mr. Miller's capable hands. You need anything else, I'll be in my office. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. The patient records database is acting up. Access is a lot slower than normal, and I have no idea why. I'll look into it later. For now, let's focus on your investigation. Huh. Well, we don't give the patients free access to our computer system, so uh, I doubt that's related. And still, it's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? Former soldier, huh? Yeah, they say war changes people forever. Makes me sad, the thought of soldiers who come home and don't fit in anymore. Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but... Maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? That should help narrow things down. I can access the patient records from my terminal. Assuming the database cooperates, come on. It'd be enough to know that the Rangers are keeping an eye on us, but to have it be my own husband, so comforting. I don't mean to be rude, but unless this is a medical emergency, please get someone else to help. Okay, give me just a minute here. Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. Okay, finally. Here we go. Oh. No matches found for a Maya Cruz. If Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. I guess it's possible. Maybe I can give you another option. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace, what's her last name? Doolin, Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman, I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. You're welcome to use the Ranger Station Terminal. I'll enable admin access for you. You know, just by breathing the air in here, you are being exposed to a... moment. Yes, what do you want? Yes, that's right. I'm afraid we don't take walk-ins. If you want a room in our VIP wing, you'll need to make arrangements in advance. Even if that were true, which I doubt, access to that area is strictly limited. 
Who exactly are you? And I require you to respect my authority as a senior doctor here at the clinic. The answer is no. The rules are the rules. No exceptions. Oh my goodness. Are we really going to let this bureaucrat block our progress? Oh, I wasn't aware. I suppose if I can't trust a colleague, then I can't trust anyone. This will get you in. Conduct your investigation quickly and without disruption. I do hope you won't make me regret this. Stopping at the clinic to do a bit of Xeno research, eh?
better off when you are, Captain. Captain Dan, it is goodbye. Stroud Eklund set up shop here. That crystalline formation looks quite intriguing and valuable. like an enormous geode. Crystalline formations like this are incredibly rare. Why if this place was abandoned? I'll never understand.
You certainly know your way around a computer system. to the center of the earth. Never seen a single crystalline formation of that size.
Well, what are you waiting for? Finish it. Yeah. We've got a base, a good one, too. Spent months of my life getting that place up and running. As for where it is, <laughs> you're going to have to figure that out on your own. Because uh, that's what we were hired to do. The pay was good, too. But the best part was getting to stick it to the people who turned their backs on us. <laughs> I can't wait until you find out. Of course it is! We spent 20 years behind bars because our leaders got scared and called off our attack just when we had the battle won. And did the people of the Free Star Collective that we fought and died for come to our defense? No. They did nothing. Nothing! Ah. Well, now they can die, just like most of our unit did. Fine. I ain't feeling conversational anyway. You might not think so now, but it's likely to end up that way. How about I make this real simple for us both? I've got maybe a few weeks to live, and I ain't spending them behind bars. You want to put an end to me here and now? Then fine. Get it over with. Life's kicked me around enough as it is. But if you want to let me die on my own terms, then leave me in peace. Well, how about a test? Rangers are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. I've encrypted this slate. If you can crack it, you'll learn something useful. Now get out of here and leave me in peace.
exactly a pot of gold, but the sweet Not everyone gets to say they work. Helga says I spent too much time at my terminal. He's probably right. Hey there, deputy. Way I hear it, you've been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Freestar Collective to the other. How do you like the job so far? That's good to hear. So, what brings you by? Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this is new. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these, it'll give me more context for the encryption and should speed things up. In the meantime, you be careful out there, deputy. From what I've heard, these mercs mean business. 